Hi YouTube friends, today I'm making a craft. I'm making these characters. This is a frog. I have a dragon and an octopus. And I'm making them out of, I'm not sure if you can tell what these are, but they're bowling pins, just like this. The first step to make these is to take, this is what the bowling pin looks like, um, is purchased from Factory Direct to Craft, and this is the three inch bowling pin. I'm going to drill holes for the eyes uh, and for the dragon's nose. The eyes are made out of beads. They are these natural craft wood beads. And I choose just medium sized beads. This is the larger size, these are medium. The dragon's nose is made from these buttons. They're 0 0.3 inch buttons and I found these at Michael's. So I just need one button for the dragon's nose. So I'll go over supplies quick before we start. I'm going to use a drill and I'm going to use wood filler, a hot glue gun, paint. I've got various paints. I have different brand names. I find I have, a, I have a favorite paint for each color, really. I love the Apple Barrel Black, for example. This isn't a bad white. I like them to be liquid, but opaque. It's a fine balance to find that. I've got some Artist Lofts colors. I have here an Artist Lofts Professional. This is a nice brown because it's a nice color and it's a bit transparent. I have purple, Windsor Newton, and what else do we have? I've got some Grumbacher colors, so I have lots of different colors. I just have some favorites that I have found and keep buying those colors in that brand. Holes are on the top of the head. The octopuses are in the front, and Dragon is right in the middle of his face. And my drill bit. This is the largest wood drill bit I have. So first we'll do the dragon because he's the easiest. I'll just point it straight in the middle of his face and drill a hole. A chunk that kind of fell out there. I'm going to fix that later with wood filler. I'm making these characters to get ready for a market. I went to the same market last year and I had a video about getting ready for it last year. It's called the Critter Market. So. It is this weekend, and I'll show you some footage of what goes on at the Critter Market. The frog is right on the top of his head. And the octopus is in the, in the front of his face. Let's check how the bead fits. Just perfect. I'm going to take some wood filler and a knife and I'm just going to fill in this spot here because after I put that piece in, that button, it will be hard to reach underneath here. So just put it in with a knife and smooth it down there. Glue gun is ready. So I'm just going to fill this up with hot glue and stick the button in there on the octopus. beady eyes. It was my husband that decided this was an octopus. I just put them on and I, th I was thinking alien and he said octopus and he's right. The octopus is really cute with these eyes. And the frog. I make the hole facing forward because later that becomes the pupil of his eye. Didn't fill it up enough with glue. get a knife and clean up the excess glue. Fill 
in the beads, I just take some wood filler and fill in the hole in the bead. I later I paint that black. I experimented with letting the hole, like letting the eyeball have the hole in it. It looks really creepy. So I fill these in. So this is a an 80, number 80 sandpaper. And I'm just gonna lightly sand off the edges here of my wood filler. Now we will paint them. They're each going to get an initial coat of one color. This is going to be a light pink. This is the octopus. He's going to be orange and the frog is going to be a green. This is the green for the frog. It's Artist's Loft green yellow for the dragon. Artist's Loft's light magenta. And the orange for the octopus is jack-o'-lantern apple barrel. So I've done the first coat now. I've got the solid pink, solid orange, solid green, and I'm going to do the eyes. So my eyes are black and a light brown with highlights of white. So this is a liner brush. It is Pen Princeton, Princeton Brush Brand 20 Zero Liner. And I really like it for fine detail lines. So just dip in my black and I'm gonna make the eyes here. For the dragon, I give it some white kind of highlights, eyelashes. Just here, I'm gonna give four Paint on my brush, put my brush there and pull up just to give it some character. And then the eyes of the dragon are done with the bottom of my paintbrush. I always do some practice dots here whenever I'm doing dots. There we go. And one dot here. One dot here. The dragon also has a grin, a toothy grin. That gives it some character and I just do triangles here. The rest of the frog's face I use some green, this is permanent green middle, Galleria Acrylics. And mix it with a little bit of the brown to darken it up. And he just gets two little nose nostrils. And then a grin, because he's a happy, Happy guy. He lives in a swampy marsh and he's happy living there. There. And his body is really easy. I just mix up again a dark, dark green and start to put in some dots. Just random shapes. And I might come into this two more times with other colors, lighten them up, darken them up, lighten them up again until I have it looking just how I want it. Dragon just needs two more, two more things. I'm gonna use this darker pink. Now he, I need to form his belly. So I'm going to take this pink and just give him a shape in here. What I like to do is I like, kind of line it up with his face to be as symmetrical as I can. There's his belly and then I just paint this one color all around 
And at one point, I'm going to need my other pink because I graduated, so it comes to this lighter pink at the top. And then he gets some belly lines, like as if he has a leathery belly. He's a dragon, or a... kids could also pretend that he's a dinosaur.